So we have on this podcast this thing called the data horror story. All of us have many scars from times that we tried to, you know, put data in place, looked at it wrongly, made assumptions that were incorrect, or just funny stories that we course corrected. I'm sure you have some of those. Would you like to share one? Yeah, sure. I, I will say that data doesn't uh, horrify me at all. People horrify me. <laughs> so it's actually people misunderstanding or misusing data. That's the okay, problem. Cool. Data by itself doesn't bite. It doesn't have teeth. It doesn't have a, uh, any, any worries it's at all. Nice. It's soft. It's comfy. Data is all good. It's ones and zeros at the end. It's not a problem. But I'll tell you, when, when I, I joined uh, a large systems integrator a few years ago, and we're talking significant size company, like uh, 150,000 people on you know, $25 billion firm at some, at some level. Um, so my job... Uh, so I came in as a head of uh, digital marketing and branding, but on the digital marketing side, job number one was to, you know, put a digital infrastructure for marketing, right? And I, you know, what do you do first, right? You try to figure out what's what and who's first and what, you know, what, what do we have out there for a company this size, right? So we, uh, first thing is, okay, let, we need one marketing database. So we did a little scan to figure out how many marketing databases were out there. There was 32. 32 individual, independent, not connected, marketing databases, marketing with a quotation mark, right? Wow. Anything from literally, I could, you know, act databases to Excel, to Eloqua at the time and a Primo and this and that and the other. Everybody had their own licenses. They were all kind of, you know, mini chiefs uh, of data. Uh, And the challenge was not a technical challenge. You know, you know, they thank God about 25, 30 years ago, somebody figured out how to normalize, you know, tables. So it wasn't that (laughs) it wasn't that hard. It was letting getting people to let go of their data. They they actually thought that this is their data. I remember having discussions going, I'm not. Why should I give you my data? I'm like, what made you the owner of the data? You work for the company. It's the company's data. So you will let go of the data or we will let go of you, you know? So it, it, you have to kind of play the hardball in the beginning to get people to realize A, it's not the data and B, having data islands makes no sense for anybody, right? So it, it took me literally six months to convince all the right because they didn't report to me to threaten, convince and cajole, you know, People, it took about six months and it probably took like six days to bring the databases. It's 